Hi, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today we have two of the best Android devices on the market with uh, the Galaxy Nexus, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and the HTC Amaze. This Galaxy Nexus is the unlocked GSM version, not the Verizon version, and the, the HTC Amaze is on T-Mobile, which I have reviewed in the past. So let's get uh, straight into this review. Uh, let's start with dimensions, overall dimensions on the devices. You can tell the monster screen on the Galaxy Nexus Nexus compared to the QHD display on the Maze. This is one of the best displays on the on the Galaxy Nexus in the industry right now. It does have a super super AMOLED screen, 16 million colors, 720 by 1280, 4.65. That's right here, going this way. Uh, very bright, 316 PPI. In comparison to the the super the super LCD on the HTC Maze, which is like I said before QHD. That's uh, 540 by 960, 4.3 inches at 256 PPI. Uh, so they're both very nice, but some some I think of 4.65 is, is a little too big. It did take me a while to get used to, but once you start using it, uh, it's very nice. So we can start looking at the dimensions right now. Here's a little profile on the side. We have uh, 135 millimeters uh, by 67 by only nine millimeters thin on the on the Galaxy, it's actually 8.9 millimeters. It is, the GSM version is supposedly thinner than the Verizon version. Uh, on the Maze right here, we do, this is uh, still pretty thin at 11.8 millimeters. And this is uh, 130 tall by uh, 66 wide. So you can take a look at it. This is the Galaxy Nexus, I think, is one of the nicest designs for a cell phone these days. Uh, let's get a look at the backs on these things. Uh, five megapixel camera on the Nexus compared to the, the eight. Single LED flash, dual LED flash, uh, speaker, speaker, speaker here, speaker on the bottom here. Uh, we can look at the bottom ports real quick. So we do have the power, the micro USB, and the 3.5 jack on the bottom of the Nexus, and just the removal of the back cover for the Amaze. So let me get back here one second. Okay. So then let's get to the top, the top of the device. This, on the Galaxy Nexus, you really don't see anything. You do have the 3.5 jack and the classic uh, power button on the Amaze. And then on the other side, you have the charging port, micro USB on the Amaze. And then over here, you have the, the power lock screen button and the three, I guess this is for a future, uh, for a car dock, just like the other Galaxies had, the other, uh, the Nexus lines had. Uh, let's get into the build quality real quick. I know this is Google's top phone and it does feature Android 4.0, but like all Samsungs, it just it does feel kind of cheap compared to HTC devices. Like for example, we can look at just the back cover, how it comes off, and it's very it's very solid. And then I'm not even gonna attempt to take this back cover off. It's flimsy plastic. It's very hard to get back on. It feels like, kind of like you're gonna break it. So just for whatever this thing is, seven hundred dollars or the top Nexus Galaxy phone, you would picture something a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more. Uh, more like just better quality overall build quality. Let me just slide this back on real quick. And get back into the review. So I still love build quality on HTC phones a lot better than Samsung devices. Uh, so we'll continue with the review. We do have this does have uh, I think I believe one gigabyte of RAM on the on both devices. Sixteen gigabytes of storage on each device. Uh, HSDPA. You will get twenty one megabytes per second. With uh, the Galaxy Nexus, and on the t on the on the Amaze, you will get the new uh, the 42 uh, 42 megabytes per second on their uh, on their uh, HSPA Plus network, which is nice. This does support T-Mobile's network in the U.S., so you have 1700 on there if you're a T-Mobile user and you want to use this, which is great for for myself. Uh, we can get into the cameras real quick. In terms of uh, imaging, the Amaze I think still has a better uh, a better camera, so we can take a little quick shot. Like I said, this is one of the, still one of the best camera phones around. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, the, the Galaxy Nexus, is, the camera is not that, not that great. You know, the pictures do look great on the screen, but then once I moved them over to my PC, they weren't that great. It is only a 5 megapixel camera, so we can take a look at these side by side. So... From here, you can't tell that much, but once these things go on your computer, you can tell the, the clarity is really great on the Amaze. Uh, in terms of the front camera, it's a 2 megapixel on the Amaze, and only a, it's a 1.3 on the Galaxy Nexus. 
uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, they're all, they're all there, the classic features. Uh, in terms of the processor, we have uh, the dual core TI uh, OMAP for 4480, dual core 1.2 Cortex on the, on the Samsung. And the Amaze is using the, the Snapdragon DS3, it's the 1.5 uh, dual core chip. Uh, honestly, they're both very snappy, very peppy. Perhaps maybe the Amaze is a tad bit quicker at times, but with the Sense UI, you really cannot tell. The Sense UI does slow it down a little, but in terms of battery life, this is where the two phones make up my purchasing decision. The battery life on the Galaxy Nexus is amazing compared to the Amaze. It's just, it can last all day pretty much without a charge, even when I'm on uh, 3G. In the Amaze, it still needs constant charging, at least two times a day I'm charging this thing. Uh, so overall, they're both good phones. I really don't want to get into some of the features of, of uh, ice cream sandwich because that's kind of a separate review. But one thing I do like on on the Galaxy Nexus is this ability to do to do folders. So you can see this everything is Google in one folder. Uh, and the overall the menus very clean, very simple. And one of my favorite features is the drop down the notifications you can just pull to the side to get rid of notifications. Very similar experience to like a honeycomb tablet, which is very nice. I'm still a fan of Sense UI. I think both phones are great. Um, if you're a fan of, if you want an ice cream sandwich and you can deal with the the big enough screen, the big screen, you know, go with the go with the Galaxy Nexus. If 4.3 is even kind of big for you, you're a fan of Sense UI. You know, HTC Amaze is great. So there you have it. Two of the best Android devices out right now. Uh, like I said, I like both devices. Currently, I'm using the Nexus, but I do often switch back to to the Amaze. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Check you back next time.